Hey guys, what's up? Plastic Guy here, coming back with another figure review where today we're taking a look at this brand new Spider-Man Marvel Legends from the Amazing Friends 3 pack. We have gotten a lot of Spider-Man figures this year for the 60th anniversary and Hasbro have went all out. We have gotten figure after figure, two pack after two pack and then this three pack was also announced and when it was I knew I was going to have to get it because it's taken the Amazing Fantasy 15 body that everyone was raving about including myself. This has probably been my favourite Spidey this year and it's put a more classic spin on it. I'm much more a fan of the blue and red colour scheme this, to be honest, this look to Spidey is more of my mind's eye Spider-Man. When I think of Spidey, I think of this sort of red and blue, more kind of sleek, slender look compared to the likes of the Retro or the Renew Your Vows that we got. And so, when they did reveal the Amazing Fantasy 15, I was hyped. I, I love that figure, but I did also want to see a more classic look to Spidey. And of course, Hasbro gave us that but decided to put it in a three pack. So, being a Spidey collector, being an absolute Spider-Man simp and pretty much trying to get every Spidey figure that I can, I fell into Hasbro's trap. I bought the expensive three pack and it's finally arrived. And I wanna take a closer look at Spider-Man. I'm not gonna take a closer look at Iceman or Firestar just now on the channel. I'm not as interested in them. We recently got a Firestar, we recently got an Iceman, so I, yeah, I don't really get the point of getting those figures um, in this three pack. I do feel like it is a bit of a money hungry move from Hasbro, but nonetheless, I'm really hyped for this Spidey. So let's not wait any longer. Let's take a closer look at him. Let me know, guys, what you think of the Amazing Friends Spider man show down in the comment section below what do you think of hasbro revealing this figure as a three pack this of course is a figure that a lot of collectors would want to pick up and they've decided to put it as an expensive three pack so let me know your thoughts on that as i said i think that's a bit of a money hungry move from hasbro and I'm not too pleased with it. It's something I'm going to go into more in this video. So let me know your thoughts while you're down there, guys. If you could do me a massive favor, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And let's not wait any longer. Let's take a closer look at this new Spidey. So normally I take a closer look at the boxes these figures come in. Here is the box. Uh, there's not really much going on. It's got the artwork at the front. I'm going to move Spidey here so we can get a better look. Yeah, big three pack box, the figures that are in it, and yeah, just, I think these figures are pretty weak, man, like Iceman, I've got the retro carded Iceman, and I think it looks a lot better than this, really outdated mould, just not a fan of the cell shading, and Spidey and Firestar aren't cell shaded, I don't get why Iceman is, doesn't really make sense to me, Firestar who we got not too long ago in a single Marvel Legends release, we got an Age of Apocalypse Iceman, the retro carded Iceman isn't hard to pick up. I just don't understand um, why Hasbro felt the need to do this, especially because this would have sold like wildfire in a single pack anyway. Just yeah, really money hungry is all I can think, but whatever. These images at the side, I don't know if this is like an homage to the show, but I think it looks really weird <laughs> and then it's the same on this side as well and then that's the back of your packaging um, yeah just kind of usual box that we're used to at this point with these new Marvel Legends releases and then we get Spidey and yeah I've got a few things to say about this particular figure he comes with these accessories so you get the whipping hands and I do actually like these hands I don't know if these are a slight new mold there's something that feels a bit new about them and i do like the look of it so i'm glad we get the whipping hands we get the wall crawling hands and then we get the clobbering time fisted hands and yeah i kind of just oh, oh disaster uh, i kind of wish that we got some web accessories with this and i definitely wish we got an alternative head where did that other hand go yeah this three pack wasn't cheap and i wish we got a peter parker head or a different spidey head i wish we got some new web accessories not the same one that we've gotten with every spidey so far that's just pretty whack in my opinion like 
there's something new that isn't a bunch of alternative hands that's just very standard and I don't know I just want something a bit more and then we get the figure and as I mentioned at the start this is my mind's eye spidey this is just the perfect look in my opinion the red and blue on this body mold with the articulation the poses you can get this thing into i love the head sculpt i think this is the epitome of spider-man this is the best looking marvel legend spidey in my opinion and that's why i had to pick this three pack up now with that being said there are some issues with this figure that has bummed me out a bit and we're going to take a closer look so we get the head sculpt same as the amazing fancy 15 head sculpt i think the reds are ever so slightly different there and um, i think it's kind of hard to pick up on camera but this red is very slightly lighter this red's definitely deeper um, but yeah, I love this head sculpt. Unfortunately, there are some smudges on this head sculpt here. All the lines are pretty solid, so I'm not too bothered. But yeah, there's a smudge here and there that I noticed. And yeah, you know, not a big complaint. But then we get to the chest area. Really like the logo here. Uh, I think it's a great size, really nice design. And I'm really happy with that. It is pretty much the same as, yeah, it's the exact same as the animated series Spidey that we recently saw. Same body mode, different colours, cell shading. That was my biggest downfall with this figure. I just, I'm not personally a fan of cell shading, which is another reason I really wanted this Spidey here. No cell shading, unlike Iceman, which just doesn't make sense. So yeah, I, I think the logo looks really good. All the web lines are pretty solid in the chest area, but then... I don't know if you can really make that out there, but there's some blue bleeding through just where my thumb is. And that's just so annoying. Like, I, once again, it's something small and all these things I'm gonna bring up are very small. And I'm happy that there isn't just one big QC issue. I've seen figures that are just missing huge areas of web or there's an eye missing, something like that. And that would have been so destroying, but this figure here just has a lot of Wii quality control issues that I definitely think is worth pointing out because when you're forking out a lot of money for an expensive three pack, you don't really expect these wee things to, you know, pop up on your figure and it is frustrating. And it has bummed me out a wee bit, but as I mentioned, it's not the worst at all and I hope it doesn't really show up on camera when I'm posing this figure around as much as I can see it now that I've noticed that my eye's drawn to it. But the biggest one is in the waist here. You can see the web lines are coming right on over onto the blue. And that's something we can see elsewhere in the figure. Um, the back of the arm here, the web lines is coming on over the blue. You can see the red kind of bleeding out into the blue around the butterfly joints, which just doesn't look great. The lines aren't crisp in the butterfly joint, like you can see there. The red and the blue kind of mixing together. Just things I'm, I wasn't wanting to see on, in my opinion, the best Marvel Legends Spidey. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be the case with all figures, but the red here, um, there's a gap and you can see the blue just sitting at the bottom of the waistline there i do feel like the red should go all the way across once again a tiny little gripe but worth mentioning and also the blue here is a bit marbled uh, i don't know if you can pick that up on camera but there is some marbling going on in the blue and then the feet look fine um yeah the feet look okay there is one more yeah here on the bicep you can see that there's a bit of like paint chipping going on and that's also the same in the ab area i i don't see it on camera but there is like a bit of paint build up that i'm fear it will chip off so yeah i know i've just went a bit karen mode and i've just complained a bunch about things wrong with this figure but i wouldn't be doing an accurate review if i didn't point those things out if you have also ordered this three pack definitely give this thing a good scan because there are a lot of wee issues on my figure here that it shouldn't be there. Um, as I mentioned, paying a lot of money for this three pack, giving Hasbro your hard earned money for their product, you should be getting a better quality of product. 
That being said, I love this figure and that was always going to be the case. Taking, in my opinion, the best Spidey body mode that we've gotten so far, the poses we can get this thing into is just fantastic, it's pinless, it looks so sleek. So taking that mode, putting a more traditional look to Spidey, something more reminiscent of the likes of the retro, but on this newer mode, yeah, I just absolutely love it. This is my go-to Spidey and I wish I could have two of this figure, but with it being in a three pack, that's just never gonna happen and that is another downfall of this piece and something I went over at the start. So yeah, this this thing has its flaws. It's it's hard to get, it's expensive, Hasbro exclusive three pack. Is it a Hasbro exclusive? I think it is. Um, yeah, with figures that I don't know who's asking for, figures that are easy to get on the second hand market, wouldn't even be surprised if they're still warm and pegged somewhere. Yeah, just a weird move from Hasbro on this one, but th this figure itself is awesome and I'm chuffed to bits with that. Let's just compare them to some of the other Spider-Man figures kicking around at the moment. And here we have our amazing friend Spidey next to some of the latest and best from Hasbro. And yeah, I just think this looks like a great standard Spidey. It's not got the cell shading, it's got the classic colours on that fantastic body mode. I definitely think Ring of Your Vows is just a slightly too big Spider-Man and yeah, I'm glad that we get a more classic look here. For me, my favourite is definitely going to be this amazing friend Spidey. I really hope we get some sort of single release version of it so I can get another one, maybe with a slightly lighter blue, a slightly different head sculpt, I don't know. But uh, we definitely need a more classic Spidey on that sculpt that isn't in a Hasbro exclusive hard to get 3 pack. Let me know what your guys favourite Hasbro Spidey is at the moment. If I was to rank these guys I'm going to go Amazing Friends, maybe then the Amazing Fantasy 15, probably then the Retro, the Animated, Renew Your Vows and then yeah I'm not really including Japanese and Ben Ridley at the moment. And then for a quick villain comparison, we have Doc Hawk and Green Goblin next to this Spidey and I do think they look pretty good. Perhaps Green Goblin is a bit too dark. I do have the retro Green Goblin, he's still meant on card. I'll probably open him up at some point, but yeah, I love this Spidey and with the villains. And so there we have it for our new Amazing Friends Spidey figure. And I feel like I've said everything that needs to be said on this piece. I mean, there isn't really much to be said on this piece. It's pretty much 1 plus 1 equals 2. We get the Amazing Fantasy 15 body mode, a more classic traditional Spidey look merged together and it equals this and it's great it was always going to be great not really much room to fail but this one in particular definitely has its qc issues and it is a bit of a bummer but not enough to really like put me off it at all you know i'm still going to be playing around with this guy taking a load of photos i love it let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below the most annoying thing about this figure is it's in an expensive exclusive 3 pack and I really wish it was in a single release. I would have bought 2 or 3 of this figure and I only hope we get a more classic look as a single release at some point soon but who knows, I mean really who knows what's going on at Hasbro. Yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. While you're down there, as always, guys, if you could do me a massive favour, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'll leave the link to my Instagram down in the description below, where I'll definitely be posting some pictures of this guy up on there. Feel free to hop on over to the channel page as well. There are plenty of Spider-Man toy figure reviews over there, so it'd mean a lot if you could check that out. And it means a lot that you've watched this video right here, so thank you so much, and as always, I'll catch you on the flip-flop later. Cheers.